We've seen in the chapter that electrical measurements can often provide some really inf interesting information about the world. And here's a question about using the resistivity of tissues, particularly of corn plants, in order to assess their health. Let's take a look at what the problem's asking. So let's do our preparation here. Okay, what the question sets out is this. You've measured the resistivity of a corn plant by measuring the dimensions of a leaf and measuring the resistance between two points. And let's go ahead and sketch out a picture and see what this looks like. So we have a, a leaf of a corn plant, like so. And it's got a certain width. It's got a certain thickness. And we've placed electrodes some distance apart. So I've taken this chunk of the corn plant and we've hooked up a meter to measure resistance between two separated points. And the length between the electrodes, okay, is 20 centimeters. That's 0 0.20 meters. The width, okay, of the leaf at this point, the width of it is 2.5 centimeters or 0 0.025 meters and the thickness of the leaf and, and the plants you know have pretty thin leaves as most plants do is 0 0.00020 meters thick okay that's 0.2 millimeters that's our thickness right there so here's the dimensions of the leaf I'm measuring the resistance between these two points the resistance depends upon the geometry and the resistivity. And the equation that defines it is this. The resistance is the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-section area. Now the cross-section area is the area across which the current flows. And that's this area right here. Okay, So that's the width of the leaf times the thickness. The length it's basically the span. What is the length over which the current flows? And it flows from here to here. If we're putting a current through here and measuring a voltage, we can use that to assess resistance. And this is the conducting path. So that's the length that we want. That's just the L that we've sketched out up above. In this equation, we measure resistance and we're using that to find resistivity. So I'm going to rewrite the equation this way. The resistivity is equal to the resistance times the area divided by the length. That's what we're looking for. Well, now we've got things set up where we can solve this. Because we have the resist resistance, we have the area, and we have the length. And so it's a pretty straightforward solution. Resistivity is equal to resistance times area divided by length. And let's think about what those different values are. The resistance was measured in the problem. It's 2 mega ohms. That's 2.0 times 10 to the sixth ohms. The area is the width times the thickness. Well, the width times the thickness is 0 0.025 meters times the thickness, 0 0.00020 meters. The length is the distance between the electrodes. That's 0 0.025. 0 meters. So we have everything we need to complete the calculation. And if we do that, we get a resistivity of 50 ohm meters. That's the resistivity that we get. Now how do we assess this? And in the question, an assessment is suggested. It says, is this greater than or less than the resistivity of muscle tissue in the human body? Well, muscle tissue is about 13 ohms meter, ohm, ohm meters, okay? This is greater than that by a factor of four, but that makes sense. People are, I think, saltier than plants, and so I would expect this to be greater, but I would also expect it to be of the same order, okay? People and plants are both mostly water, and there's a lot of dissolved things in the water, and so I'd expect these numbers to be close. In fact, they are. I'd expect it to be slightly greater, and in fact, it is. And so our answer makes sense in terms of our understanding about how the world works.